Hi guys, welcome to Year 9 Art. This is just a short instructional video to go through the Year 9 drawing task that you're going to be starting during Jumpstart. Um, so this is the task sheet. I'm not going to read through it because I'll let you guys do that in your own time, otherwise this will be a really long video. But basically what you're going to do in this task is complete three different drawing tasks um, which look at different drawing techniques. So the first one is looking at drawing using cropped areas and you will need a grey lead and you'll need a piece of paper and you'll need a some sort of object for this task. Uh, the second one is a split drawing where you're going to be taking away part of the image and then drawing what is remaining um, or what's missing. And you will need a grey lead, a piece of paper and some sort of image for that task. And the third one is drawing using a grid system. Okay, so in junior art, you would have had a bit of a practice with this. Um, so we're going to go into a bit more detail in this drawing task and you'll have another go at that. Um, so basically what we're going to do in this video is I'm just really quickly going to go through basically what you have to do in each one of these um, activities. And if you have any questions, you can either ask the teacher that's going to be taking you or you can email me um, or you can come and see me on Mondays or Fridays in my office in J2. OK, so the first task that we're going to be looking at is this one here where you're going to be um, choosing an object and the object is your choice. And you're going to basically be drawing it from different angles um, by using a... Um, I'm not really sure what to call this, but it's like a, I guess like a window. So you will create these little um, L-shaped things, I guess you can call them, on a piece of paper. Um, and to do that, you can just see what I'm doing. I'm folding the piece of paper like this. Um, and I'm just going to rip this because I don't have my scissors handy. And then you're just going to fold them like that. So you want it to kind of look like, well, that's a backwards owl or an owl that way. Um, and then you're going to do the same with the other one. They don't have to be fancy. As you can see, I've just used lined paper because that's all I had around. But if you've just got plain white paper, that's fine too. Basically, why you're doing this or what you're creating is a bit of a window. So it means that you can focus on this part here and you can place it over your object. So, for example, if these sunglasses were my object, I might just give them like that. Then you can play around and you might want to put a bit of um, tape here and here to make them stay. But basically what you can do is play around with the size. And once you're happy with that size, I would probably put a bit of tape there and there just so that your window is set and you don't have to keep trying to match it every time you move it. And you're going to just place it on different parts of your object. And you might open it up and you might do it like in different areas. And what you're going to do on another piece of paper is you're going to fold your piece of paper into six squares. So this is actually two examples. Um, and to fold your piece of paper into six squares, you'll just fold it in half. And then you'll just do the three folds like that so you know when you're creating like a bit of a brochure how you do that and then when you open it up you'll have the you probably see it a bit better here you'll have the six different squares so that's a very quick rundown of the first task now with that first task um, you will have three lessons to complete it so you'll have the first two lessons of week one and then the first lesson of week two. Now the object can be anything you like. If you're unsure, instead of wasting like a whole period trying to work out what your object's got, object is going to be, just open your pencil case and see what's handy because sometimes or often um, the best objects to use are things that are really simple like say a pair of scissors um, that just have like little details um, that you can sort of replicate or even Keys are always great as well, which you can see in that example. So if you've got a key and you want to have a go at doing that, you're more than welcome to do that. So that's for task number one, and it should take you roughly three lessons. 
You also, as you can see in this example, you want to be including some tone. So what that means is some light areas and some dark areas. So you want to have a look at your object and you want to say, okay, well, in this area, it's a bit dark. So when I'm shading it, I'm going to go over it a few times and I'm going to shade it a bit darker um, to make that a darker tone to replicate what I can see in front of me. So that is task one. For task number two, you're going to be creating a split drawing and there's an example here. And to do that, you will print off an image of, it can be anything off um, the internet or you can maybe find an image in a magazine if you've got a magazine or if you've got one lying, down, um, lying around. And basically what you're going to do is you're just going to roughly cut that image in half. Now that image or the way that you cut that, it can be on any angle. It doesn't have to be straight down the middle or straight down the other side. Um, it doesn't have to be a straight line. You might decide that you want to do some sort of curved or zigzag line. That's totally fine too. You can be as creative as you like with your cut. So basically what you're going to do is cut away half of it, stick, the bit, stick one bit down on another piece of paper, and then you're going to draw or replicate the part that you just cut away. So my recommendation would be to keep this part instead of chucking it away so that you can use it as a reference of where your lines are because once this is stuck down, you can sort of put it there and then with your grey lead, just give me a sec, with your grey lead you can sort of say, okay, well, this line's going like that and then move it away and say, okay, so it's roughly going about here and then you can make your lines. So that's a good way um, to sort of do it as a beginner. Once you do your outlines of the part that's missing, so this part here, um, you do need to shade that as well um, and include some tone. And that should be fairly easy because you do have the example um, of the part that you've cut away. And when you're printing it out, if you want, you can always change it to black and white, which will help you um, understand where the, black, the dark and the light tones are. So that's a good tip as well. So that's going to be your split drawing. That should take you roughly three lessons to complete as well. So you'll do that in the second lesson of week two and then the first two lessons, um, sorry, yeah, sorry, the first two lessons of the week after. And then finally, you have your grid drawing. Now, I won't go into too much detail for this one um, because we will actually complete this in the first week of um, term one in 2021. So I will be there then and I'll be able to take you through it in detail. But basically what you're going to do is you're going to print out an image and the image can be of anything. You're going to use a ruler and a gray lead to draw a two centimeter grid over the top of your image and going both ways so that it looks like this. Then you're going to replicate that grid onto another piece of paper and basically what you're going to do is copy what's in each one of those squares. Okay, so that's a really good way to break down um, more complicated um, or detailed images so that you can replicate that amount of detail. And then for your grid drawing, the tone and the rendering is optional. So you can either just leave it as a, um, a nice basic outline or you can then add some tone to it or you might decide that you want to add some colour to it. That's fine. So basically that's what the task or the three tasks are um, for your, your drawing task for, the, um, for jump start and for the first couple of weeks of term uh, one. You do also have to complete an evaluation each time you finish a task which is on your sheet. Um, so you can have a read through it and basically it just explains what you did, how you did it, was it effective and what could you improve for next time. Um, and then finally it says what needs to be submitted down the bottom and it gives you a basic rundown of the criteria that we're looking for in each one of these um, tasks. So once again, um, start off by reading through the task sheet, watch this video and then have a go at each one of those tasks. If you finish early, you can move on to the next task, but if it's taking you a little bit longer, that's fine because I'm going to give you a couple of um, weeks worth of lessons in Term 1, 2021. So if you need to catch up, you'll have that time as well. 
and there is no holiday homework for this and if you